at the end of our last session, we had a layered version of Stephen's photo with several special effects. The gradient expressed in the image, then the high pass followed by a smart blur and a sketchbook color scheme. Express texture using a fine grain paper and apply screen where we chose the three colors and the threshold for combining them. Now in order for us to use each of these effects as a separate clone source, they'll each have to be made into a separate image. And that's done simply by doing a save as four times and then eliminating everything but the layer that you want. And I've done that for you, so you have those in your working files folder. Before we load them, let us make a quick clone in the file menu, quick clone. And we will not save that layered image. I'll zoom in once again. And now we're ready to load our clone sources. So let's open the first one, Express Texture. Let's open another, Apply Screen. Let's open the High Pass Blur, etc. And finally, let's open the Express Gradient. Now we are safe to delete the layered version that's ready for us to work. Also, we need to open an additional custom palette. You've got your mixed media palette here, but let's also open a cloning portrait palette. So I've got several cloners, and as you recall, when you've got more than two or three items from the same category, it's good to be able to see their names, and we can achieve that on this Impressionist cloner by simply holding down the control key on the Mac or using the right click and now we see view as text. So all of those now are easily identified. I'm going to set the opacity of the tracing paper higher so I don't see much of my Stephen image. And I'm going to make a layer just to keep the canvas empty, at least for now. And I will choose from my mixed media palette, the clumpy brush. And I'd like to start by putting in a layer of smart strokes. So let's open the auto painting panel and I will choose, I quite like the spiral, that's the last thing I did. And with the express gradient as the source and clumpy brush and clone color, I will then hit play and stop. And now let's see what that looks like without tracing paper, that's a lot of fun. I will then go to make a new layer, and on this layer, I'd like to use my Impressionist cloner, also with the Express Gradient as the clone source layer. So with this, I can achieve getting a little bit more detail as to Stephen's features. And if I wanted more detail than that, I might switch to the Pencil Sketch cloner, and I could go in with several of those scribbly strokes, and now we're seeing much more of his face. Let's make a new layer and do something similar with the Apply Screen clone source. And this time, I won't do a smart stroke effect, but I will go back to the clumpy brush, and I'll use the Van Gogh cloner. There's only that solid pinkish peach color on the left, so we can't get very much interest in color variation from that. But if I go over here on the right, then I'm getting something a little bit more interesting. And I can, of course, go back and forth between and among these various clone sources. Let's try the flat impasto cloner on some of this. I think I'll go back to the Express Gradient because I like that blue color. And out here as well. Okay, we might be ready for some collage effects in the form of face parts. So I'm going to open the Media Library panel called Image Portfolio. 
And here's where we have Stephen's eye. I'll double click in order to make that appear on my image and move it to where I want it and then transform it by reducing the size. That's looking pretty good and I will commit to that. I will also go and choose Stephen's lips, double click to make that happen and move it, transform it as well as make a rotation. That's with this item here. And so now I have to commit and then move it into position right over there. Okay, we've got a mixed media look going very nicely. I think I'd like to look at my separate layers and see what's what. I also want to just kind of make some more space in my layers panel by doing a command or control click to get both lips and eye layers selected and then I can group them so that makes a nice little compact area there. I can still open the group and work on them individually and dismiss the image portfolio. So do I want to make any changes on these layers? I am thinking I might want to do something different on this layer. And I believe I'll use the Apply Screen Clone Source with the Chalk Cloner and use this Artist's Rough Paper to go in there with a little bit of scribbling. Let's see what happens when I do a little bit down here as well. I'm going to do a few strokes with the flat granny stump. And I believe I'm ready for some special effects with the pattern pen masked. I'm going to choose the floral fabric, but let's put that on a new layer as well, layer four. And so if I go in there with floral fabric, I can make some interesting effects and I'll use also my image hose with stones and apply some of those here and there. And it's looking pretty good. I think I might want to work on this part of Stephen's jaw. And where is that happening? That's happening on this layer. So let's go to the flat impasto cloner once again and use Express Gradient and see if I can get a little bit of a smoother effect over there. And I do like that. So I've accomplished that. And I'm thinking that this might just be ready if I want to see what happens when I change composite methods. Let's try making this into gel method. That looks pretty good. How was that before? Let's see. I like it with gel method. Let's see what happens when we change this item to hard light. I don't see much difference, but I think maybe it will work. Actually, if I bring that to the top of the stack, I accidentally got the layer one in the group. So I'm going to take it out of the group. There we go. And now I'm going to be able to change this to gel or screen. Not at all. Difference. Well, that is pretty wild, I must say. I'm inclined to go with it, but if you're not wanting to be quite that bold, let's just make it darken and leave it at that. It's also possible to bring it back to the bottom where it was before, and I think maybe that'll have to do. So let us then make this into the default, and we're good to go. Clearly, you can continue experimenting and switching layers and combining techniques and cloning and smart stroking until you have enough combinations to satisfy you.